Hello guys, welcome to another achievement walkthrough by Corbett Gaming. This is for the skulls and terminals in chronological order on Halo Combat Evolved. First we have the Iron Skull on the Pillar of Autumn. It is right at the start of the level, behind these barrels back behind you. Very easy to find. Next up we have the Terminal on the Pillar of Autumn. It's going to be on the bridge where you meet up with the Captain, just off here to your left. Also pretty hard to miss. Next we have the Mythic Skull. This is right at the beginning of the second level, Halo. Just head over to the right when you come off your downed escape pod and over here by the waterfall back behind this big boulder you will find the skull. Not too long later here on the Halo level, just after you meet up with the Marines for the first time. Before you go down into this tunnel, you're going to want to head over to the right on the cliff ledge. And if you follow along this cliff ledge, just over this hill by these two pine trees, you will find the Boom Skull. And just after that last skull, if you go into the tunnel here, I can't drive my Warthog as you can see, I'm a little drunk. At any rate, head down the ramp and around the back and you will find the terminal for this level. And for mission three on truth and reconciliation, we're going to get the foreign skull. In this room with the large energy barriers and the wraith, that door that I just glanced at opens up and two hunters come out. You have to quickly jump into that room before the door closes again as it does not reopen. So just do this on easy difficulty and run right past these hunters. It's not too hard. And go ahead and grab your skull for the level. Next up we have a very difficult to miss terminal. You're going to come into this room and have a waypoint, but before you go over there, head up onto this little platform and grab the terminal before you leave the room. Moving on to the silent cartographer, another one right at the beginning of the mission. When you come off the ship, just take a 180 and go back along the beach to this hill. On the back of this hill you'll find a pathway that you can climb up to the top and when you get up there head to the end and claim your famine skull. Partway through Silent Cartographer, you'll run into these two hunters. As you can see, I get the achievement for killing a hunter with one shot with my pistol here. Go ahead and knock out those two hunters, and right next to them, you'll find the terminal for the level. And last but not least, on Silent Cartographer, you're going to want to do a grenade jump to get the bandana skull here. There's another method to do it with a co-op partner, but I prefer the grenade jump just because I'm used to it. I do them a lot, so it's not really a big deal. But if you want to get a co-op buddy and do the glitch where you climb up into those windows below and then have your partner suicide and spawn up onto the roof, that works as well. Next up on Assault on the Control Room, we have the Fog Skull. You'll come to this room with this center structure, use a plasma grenade here, jump up to this higher pillar, and from there up into the room to grab the Fog Skull. A short while later, you'll come into this room with this huge gap in the middle of the room. 
On the side that you first enter the room, if you look over the ledge, you'll see the skull sitting down on this little thing sticking out from the ledge. So drop down there and grab it. That's the malfunction skull. And our last collectible on Assault on the Control Room, when you get to this large building, just follow this ledge all the way down to the bottom. There's a little ravine slash pit type thing down here. You're just going to want to go down there and go underneath that building structure and down underneath on the bottom of it, you'll find the terminal. For the recession skull on 343 Guilty Spark, before you enter that very first building, come up onto this hill and look down over the ledge by behind that turret and you'll see the recession skull sitting down by a tree. Be careful not to miss this one on 343 Guilty Spark. This is the final elevator as you're leaving the building. So when you activate the elevator before it gets to the top, jump off the elevator onto the top of that ledge and grab the terminal because if you don't, you might have to replay the entire level. On the library, this skull is at the very beginning of the level. I was just looking at the monitor so you can see about where I am. Do a grenade jump onto this pillar and then jump up over into the vent and you'll get the black eye skull. This is at the very beginning of the level. When you come to the part in the library with that large glowing blue octagon thing above you, just go ahead and jump over. You're going to have to crouch jump over these ledges all the way around to the right. And when you get to the back, you'll find the terminal. And the final collectible in the library is the eye patch skull. At the very end of the level on the top floor, when the music gets all crazy and there's lots of flood chasing you, just take a right and follow this pathway all the way to the very end and you'll find the eye patch skull. On two betrayals, right at the very beginning of the level, go ahead and just run around to the back of the platform and you can see it glowing over there. You'll find terminal number eight. Towards the end of the level two betrayals, when you get the Banshee and are headed toward the last uh, waypoint that you need to go to, before you go up to that waypoint, just take a right and fly down to this ledge. This is where a couple of wraiths spawned earlier in the game, if you remember. And right on this ledge is the Pinata Skull. For the keys level, all we're going to have is a single terminal, no skulls, and it's right in here where you see Captain Keys turned into a flood form. Just below him, you'll find the terminal. This is the same room that we found the terminal the first time we went through this ship. And we're on the home stretch now in the Maw. You'll find terminal number 10 just to the right as you pass by these sentinels. Just, just over to the right, the pathway that you take to continue on is over to the left. Okay. 
And our final collectible for the game is the Grunt Birthday Party Skull. This is right on the bridge as you're doing the escape sequence where, she te where Cortana tells you to wait for the ship to come pick you up, even though it never does. Go ahead and park your Warthog over here to the right. Use it to jump up onto this ledge. And over to the left on this ledge, you'll find your final collectible. And you should unlock a couple of achievements. I know this set of collectibles has been done before, but I just wanted to redo it for everyone to keep everything in one place on my channel. Please, if you like my videos, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.